What's up guys, it's Corzy from Gaming Legit, bringing you some Brink gameplay first to my channel. Um, this game's been, actually been out for a while, but you guys know I've been busy, so uh, unfortunately I haven't been able to get, put up any footage and talk about this game. So if you haven't gotten this game, this is going to be a great introduction to it. Uh, might waver some thoughts, you know, whether or not you want to get the game or not. Uh, it's overall, it's a good game. You got to remember this above all things, that this game is more about the objective than it is about the skills that... Um, and talents of a first-person shooter. So I guess the best way of explaining it, explaining it is in Halo, it's all about landing that perfect five shot. And if you could do that every single time, you're basically an MLG pro. Those guys can't even do it. Um, but the talents of being able to land that perfect five shot over and over and over again, that's not something that's, uh, you know, across the board on all platforms of first-person shooters. And this is the... Uh, the best example for it. it's more about the objective so it's more about uh, building walls placing turrets uh, placing mines hacking terminals uh, it's largely about objective yeah there's quite a bit of you know shooting that's going to be taking place and stuff but just with the recoil of the guns and how characters tend to be very bullet spongy like that was a horrible um, that, I mean I mean you saw the recoil right there on that gun when I was trying to fire it from the hip I just didn't stabilize my gun very well and I lost track of the person I was shooting at and uh, I ended up losing because of it he actually put me down quite fast but um, it might be a little bit lag but who knows uh, you've seen me buff a couple teammates right off of my spawn and that is something that's absolutely fundamental to this game and I don't do it enough in this gameplay um, it's very early gameplay if you look there's absolutely no customization on my weapon I don't have a red dot or a silencer or anything like that on my weapon um, which is unfortunate I didn't figure that out until a little bit later this is very early recording but uh, it's a recording for you guys nonetheless put that mine right by their objective and so their objective currently is to go repair that crane and so every single class is a different ability and I'm using the engineer because for this map and for this objective engineers are almighty you know th there's this wall and there's another wall that you can actually construct to really block off uh, they're pushing to your base. It's a huge um, advantage for your team to be able to keep these walls up. You know, it really funnels them into a small corridor. It changes their objective. Now they've got to focus on be being an assault class, possibly, to set charges on these walls to blow them down. You can disarm charges, and the game does a good job of notifying you what's going on. And so if they set a charge in the wall, uh, the overhead dude, whoever he is that communicates um, to everybody, the, you know, it's a computer communication. It, you know, it'll say there's been a charge set on the wall, um, therefore you run over to the wall and do your best to disarm it. But I'm kind of noobish at this point of this recording. I didn't really understand how to disarm anything. Um, not really coherent and paying attention to those callouts that the game is doing for me. And so you don't see me actually disarm anything. You actually, at one point of this recording, actually get killed by one of the, one of the detonations that I didn't even notice that was on the wall try to go a Rambo, drop in, kill, and uh, try to take out a turret, and the wall ends up blowing up behind me. Unfortunately, I died because of it. Um, you have, uh, you hear maybe this reference quite a bit, um, and Brink is pips, and you got pips of health, and you got pips of your abilities, um, and so you can't just constantly be throwing out buffs and setting down mines and land turrets, and I don't know if you're paying attention to the bottom left-hand corner, uh, but I actually have a slight meter um, that kind of circulates around my different abil abilities that are located on my D-pad. And right now I've buffed you guys um, and done a couple other things, and or I think a grenade actually takes a pip too. Um, and so right now I'm down to one pip, so I can only do one thing. I can lay a turret and that's about it. My special abilities are drained, and uh, they'll come back eventually. Um, but you can't just keep on doing it over and over and over again. This is that example I was telling you earlier about going Rambo. I just kind of fell off the edge trying to take out this turret because the turret is a great defense measure. Um, finish that guy off. Uh, the turret's down. I have two, three teammates right there. And then the wall ends up blowing up behind me just because I wasn't coherent and paying attention to what's going on. And so now it's very smart for us to get that wall back up because that's a big breach into being able to... Um, get back into our base and repair that terminal. So right there you just saw me um, resurrect myself basically with a syringe. And the medics 
are able to throw to you these health syringes. That's basically their special ability, um, which is really nice. And if you have a couple of really good medics, it changes the game completely. When you fall to your back, it's kind of like last stand, um, which is super annoying in Call of Duty. But in this game, it's not that bad because you can't shoot. Um, and you're just sitting there, victim on your back, waiting for a medic to come over, and you can be completely killed off. It takes quite a bit of extra ammo to uh, fully put someone down. You've probably seen me do it a couple of times to people that are laying down on their back. Just making sure that uh, there's no way a medic could get over to those guys and revive them. And I don't see that enough. I often see people um, down enemies, and then they don't completely finish them off, they just move away. And it's so easy for a medic to run over and just throw a syringe and that guy's able to get back up into the fight. And you don't want that. You want them to spawn back to their base and have to sprint all the way across the map back over to you. Um, a little heads up tip for Brink. I don't know if you guys noticed too, you see a lot of points coming up. Every single time I'm shooting the guy you see some points tallying up. Um, and you're getting thrown over to my XP count on the right hand side of the screen. This is something that's really nice about Brink. Uh, that other games should uh, start taking over and pulling into their games is that it calculates <laughs> calculates calculates assists perfectly where every single little chip of damage you do on an enemy gives you five points um, and so rather in other games like Halo where it's kind of iffy whether or not uh, that assist should have been awarded to you um, and even other games assists can be taken away from you um, and you don't get the points that you rightfully deserve. Whereas in this game, it just completely it solved it. Uh, if I put, uh, you know, a couple shots into a guy, I get 10 XP out of it, and another person comes over and puts a couple shots, he gets a little chunk of XP out of it too. It's just it's just a great way to um, keep track of XP. This game seems like it's all about XP. It seems like it's all about throwing out buffs, and buffs help out your teammate quite a bit. And I guess I should go over that. Um, every single different classes a different type of buff that you can do and they're really easy to do um, the UI and UX d design in this game is, it, it's pretty phenomenal it's it's so simple any level gamer could play this game and be um, right in there with the best of us playing the objectives uh, you'll see X show up above teammates that are, are, are I think it's basically in the center of their body that says that basically you can buff them. Guys that are already buff, you can't buff, and so you're not going to see that X highlighted on their body. Um, but when I'm allowed to, and see like this guy for, oh wait, I'm spawning. Never mind, that was a poor example. Um, but it, my guy buffs weapon damage, that's what the engineer does. Medics buff health, um, and you know, uh, assault class gives you ammo, that's basically his buff. And I don't remember what the hacker hacker's buff is, but every single person's got a buff, and that's a great way of stacking XP really fast. Like right now, this guy has an X on his body. That's something I don't really do enough, um, and I really need to, because it helps out your team quite a bit. Uh, it, if I'm throwing out buffs constantly, especially as an engineer, I'm buffing everybody's weapon damage. It just makes the confrontations between the enemy that much better for my team. Uh, so it's something I definitely need to focus on. It's not really well exhibited in this gameplay, but I. I promise you I have been doing it more. Uh, what else to talk about? Um, you can choose to void out the medic uh, syringe and spawn back at your... Uh, I don't even know what they're called. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking... I got bad company stuck in my head right now, so I'm thinking about calling them MCOM stations, but they're not MCOM stations. I forget what they are. But there's several of them actually throughout the map, and you can go over and capture them, and it adds another pip to your abilities and to your health which is really nice. You can buff yourself as well. I don't know if you've been noticing that, but there's a little notification that keeps on popping up in the upper upper left corner of my screen that says buff your damage. Um, and so you can choose to buff yourself and it takes a pip out of your, um, your abilities. Uh, but it, it's another thing that I just didn't know about until later on. I actually had a friend that showed me how to do that. This is a great placement of the turret. The turrets aren't like sentry guns in Call of Duty, not even close. They're actually a lot weaker. Did you see that X that showed up on that wall? See, I could have disarmed that. Um, that was just horrible. I I was such a noob going into this game. I didn't know that you can... I, I couldn't even tell that there was a bomb planted on that wall. I was so focused on putting a defensive mine right where they actually load or arm that charge. But I screwed up again. You're going to see my turret get a series of XP right after I spawn right here, which is pretty cool. It's right on that corner. And so as soon as guys turn that corner, my turret... Uh, get some points off it. Yeah, you see my turret just getting getting points right there. 
13 XP the first time and the 36 the second. That was pretty good. 49 XP right there. Pretty dope. Um, do I recommend this game for you guys? It depends on what type of a player you are. Uh, I'm not too turned on by this game just because it's not a game where I can really just go crazy with my FPS skills. You know, a bad company you could do a lot of like quick scoping with like red dot snipers and do a bunch of really fun stuff like that. Or in this game, it's not so much about the shooting, it's more about um, building up XP, building walls, setting turrets, setting mines, all that kind of stuff. Uh, just because of how bullet spongy characters tend to be. It's kind of weird. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. It's something that you, I guess you just rent it and play it for yourself. It's fun. I'm not dogging the game. Um, it's fun. Uh, the bots are kind of annoying. Uh, it, they stick a lot of AI into the game, so you're not always playing um, real people, uh, which is a deterrent massively because the bots play completely different than actual people. Sometimes it can be super cheap, and sometimes it can be awarding, so it goes either way. But either way, guys, hope you enjoyed the, uh, enjoyed the commentary. Hope this uh, showed, uh, lightened up this game a little bit, gave you some perspective. Um, leave some comments to what you guys think about this game. Let me know if you've played it. Um, some input, stuff like that. As always, love you guys, and I'll see you in upcoming vids.